Subscribe and hit that bell icon to be notified about the highlights of India's smartest podcast, The Ranveer Show. This is TRS Clips. Let's talk about that time after sex mm. where we dropped off there. Mm. Uh, what actually happened? So say you had sex with someone. Mm. That bond that you feel with the person, even if it's casual, you do feel a certain amount of yeah. connection. Probably because you've been that vulnerable. You've been naked yeah. with them. You let them do what yeah. they want to your body. Yeah. There's a hormonal play there for sure. Correct. I'm assuming that your oxytocin levels are spiked. So you're more prone to saying, uh, you, I love you. <laughs> but <laughs> your, your, uh, that I love you target is the closest person to you in the room. Unless Correct. you're having a threesome or something, in which sure. case. You don't know. <laughs> so there you're more spiritual because you know, I love all of you. <laughs> <laughs> Not that I have threesome experience. I mean, it sounds like, okay. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. I'm, I'm a very, uh, should, sure. uh, person. I mean, you're against one sum, so I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, I think two is just about right. Two feels right. You know, yin and yang, duality. Sure. 69. <laughs> Where is this conversation going? Kuch edit nahi hoga, okay? Jab aise ke aise chahiye. So, speaking about two-person bonding, hmm. uh, even after casual encounters, is it like your brain is in a zone to wife up somebody or husband up somebody? Hmm. Question to the doctor. Let's um, answer this in a different way. Uh, when you've had sex, there is definitely a lot of trust, mm. right? So there's very little threat there. You have exposed yourself. You are very clearly not afraid of this person, right? I'm, I'm talking from a very biological perspective, right? You, have, you are in that position of vulnerability. Biochemically, your oxytocin does spike. Um, it tends to spike harder and drop. <laughs> Maybe I would use the wrong word. It tends to spike quick. <laughs> there's no way. There's no good way to say this. <laughs> Christ, are we in school again? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> this is exactly six standard. Like, oh, six you said hard. Spike harder. <laughs> okay, go on. For God's I'm sake. Just, you keep talking. I'm not gonna make eye contact with you. <laughs> Bro, this is just, this is not sex. <laughs> <laughs> I know dude, the oxytocin in my mind is. I'm gonna husband you. Um. Okay, okay. <laughs> Alright, guys. <laughs> you talk bro, I'm listening. <laughs> Look at me, Renmi. No, okay, no. <laughs> when you are, when... <laughs> we'll continue talking. I'm sure we will. <laughs> When <laughs> ask me the question again, <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Ki, do you feel that wife up, husband up vibe? Like what, what's your brain doing to your body? Right. Oxytocin definitely spikes. Okay. I'm not going to say how, <laughs> <laughs> but it definitely spikes. Wow. It spikes at different rates. For different people. For different people. Um, there are some studies that show it spikes quicker in men. And uh, in women, there is a more gradual spiking up. And when it's coming higher? down. Um, it depends. Okay. There's not conclusion. There's no conclusive evidence. There is also some interesting overlap with another hormone called vasopressin, uh, which is which is very interesting because um, both oxytocin and vasopressin kind of work together, and it has different effects. Like a man would feel more protective. Mm. Um. More than the bonding, it is about the protection and it is about, oh, this person I have to protect now. And that can also lead to anger or like that protection can lead to anger at others. So back off. Don't come near me. Don't come near this person. Um, so that these are all different overlaps that can happen very, very quickly. Um, or in a more toxic way, it could make a guy more possessive. It could. Yeah. Mm. So what is interesting in humans is that on top of all these hormonal and neurochemical and neural network levels, there is the prefrontal cortex. What do you mean on top of it? So if you are evolving, mm. the hormonal levels are at the base, right? So animals also have this. Then you have your limbic system. You have your emotions. You have 
love when the surge of dopamine that you get oh my god i feel so happy when i'm with you all those things oxytocin i'm bonding with you i trust you but on top of that is your prefrontal cortex whose main job is to create a story around everything that is happening below and we cannot dissociate the story from the chemistry and that is where it gets interesting for human beings because the dopamine spike has a story i love you i am i'm feeling happy with you the oxytocin spike has a story i trust you i'm feeling safe with you now that is a story that you and i are creating when we have sex it's like uh, now this we have we are putting this one incident in an overarch of our relationship everything has context much more than what animals would like an animal would meet another like a partner mate and they may be able to dissociate with much lesser complications because unka utna story nahi banta not true for all animals there are animals that create that pair bonding for life but um, in human beings that ability to create stories is both a great help and it can be a great problem because that also comes with guilt so when you create that story it helps it is easier to stay together but you are also breaking that story if you pull apart 